In this episode of Circular Dimensions, we'll be focusing on the dynamics of light traveling along the surface of a two-dimensional body. We begin with the perfect torus. Activate a single ripple on its surface, similar to dropping a pebble into a pond, and track that wave in both the finite and infinite mappings. The donut is the finite mapping of an infinite two-dimensional space, as explained in earlier episodes. The plane to the left represents this body opened up and laid flat. It is opened by cutting the donut and unrolling it into a cylinder, and then cutting the cylinder and unrolling it into a flat plane. The wave is mapped to the plane and is color-coded to help understand its movement. Simply when the wave travels off the right side, it re-enters on the left and vice versa. The same relationship exists for the top and bottom edges. The inhabitants of this two-dimensional universe do not have our observer's vantage point. You can imagine how difficult it would be for them to untangle this mess, even if they knew the physical measurements of their universe. The brilliance of the closed universe is an extremely chaotic environment for the inhabitants can be produced from a very simple shape. The next animation freezes the wave at just beyond one major lap and shows how the cyclical lines on the plane are actually a uniform circle expanding on a seemingly infinite plane. Consider the entity at the center of this plane, where the wave begins, to be our sun. The wave monitors the time required for light to travel full circle. The dots represent cyclical locations on this rigid perfect donut. Dots within the time circle represent discovered images that have traveled full circle to arrive at our sun, the object that produced the image. Carry this animation out for millions of years and in the three dimensions of our space and a uniform grid of stars would be displayed. However, we do not witness this structure or organization in our heavens. The stars appear randomly scattered throughout space and not along a rigid uniform lattice. The next episode, Phantoms, will apply the fluidic property of the dimensions and examine its effects on this uniform field of stars, the cyclical images of a single sun. Visit the link above for more information and links to all episodes in this series.